Hello everyone, this is Roz Lewis. This is definitely episode six. I hope I have that right. I'm getting confused, but it, it is episode six. I checked it before. You're welcome to MASH Lockdown. Um, I am Roz Lewis, as I said, from mash.ie. Our hashtag is MASH Lockdown. We're over on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, mash.ie. Please go over, say hello, give us a follow. Okay, so we have been asking remote learning. It's all teachers are talking about. But this is gonna be focused on primary school teachers, okay? And I'm gonna have a number of videos looking at different ways you can remote learn to if you have no experience in doing it to if you have loads of experience so we're going to be looking at that i'm going to really want your feedback on this as well and um, over on our instagram page mash.au we're asking teachers what type of um, ways they've been communicating with them their students we've got a lot of response i can't read them all out i'm sorry and um, we have magic moon tour and trina 13 t-r-i-o-n-a trina 13 on instagram they told us are using google classroom which a lot of teachers are using at the minute they seem to be to communicate back and forth and um, I will do a, a video or two on Google Classroom in the next while and um, Martin Franklin he said he sent work when the closure was announced they sent work home and so forth and that was it until the 29th again a lot of teachers doing that too and that's a very valid and effective way as well to assign work remotely play for classroom is using Aladdin Aladdin connect is a communication tool so they can communicate with parents families and children about work they have to do which is great as well thank you so much for all of you for giving me all your ideas and please keep sending them on. I'll be looking for more. I'll be harassing you. Um, I want to talk today about Class Dojo. I've been using Class Dojo for year, probably seven or eight years. Um, I was using it specifically for infants. I was teaching infants for years and I found it a really good way to communicate, number one, with parents because of the direct messaging system. Um, and I use it now in the fifth class that I'm in, but um, I haven't been using it to its full abilities. And I only started looking into it in the last few days and researching some um, really creative things that you can do with Class Dojo. So the title of this um, Episode 6 of the MASH Lockdown is Creative Ways with Remote Learning Class Dojo. So that is all I'm going to be talking about now. I'm going to give you five creative ways that you may not have thought of. Maybe you have. Great if you have. But um, could be a revision even if you're using it for years. This is also a revision for you. The first one is Class Dojo is easy to use and to set up. It's easy particularly now in terms of a transition tool. If you're not using any form of interaction and uploading work and using remote learning, Class Dojo is so easy to set up and it's so easy to transition from not using anything to using Class Dojo. So it's user friendly, it's child friendly, family friendly. It's very easy to navigate without you having to explain um, how parents are going to use this. So that's a really important thing. Even more importantly, Class Dojo have a list of, I'm not being paid to do this um, uh, uh, little video by the way as well. Um, Class Dojo haven't paid me anything. So Class Dojo also have a really good article on a step-by-step -step guide for school leaders. So principals or teachers want to set it up, they run through the whole steps and they are super, super easy. So well done to Class Dojo. Go and check it out. I will put all the links in the usual places for that. The second thing it, it really does, which I didn't realise and I haven't been using, and I say you'll be using it now, is you have the capability to upload eight minutes worth of video. So you could deliver a little topic on maths. You might explain this is how maths is done. You can also use video, eight minute video clips to show the work that you're doing. You could have a piece of paper. If you're not fond of going on live video, which some teachers are not, that's fine. If you don't want them really to see your face or your house for privacy reasons, I understand that. So you can use a piece of paper and you could be writing out the maths questions on it and explain it as you go. You can also annotate, they have a lovely drawing tool and you can just upload that and children can watch it as much as they want. Sometimes a renaming, multiplication, anything like that. I just think that's it's an amazing tool to push it out there to families and children. Number three, the interesting thing is that any messages that you put up, it automatically translates them into 35 different languages. So if you have Lithuanian, Polish, Brazilian, French, Italian, and um, whatever you know the, the parents' first language is, they can access the message stage straight away. So there's no communication issues there. I think that's really, really, really valuable too. Is going to be valuable too. The fourth um, creative thing that Class Dojo do, and they do lots of creative things, but the fourth most one is you have a class story that's for the teacher, but you also have a school story. It's private, it's secure for principals and teachers who want to share newsletters. Maybe they want to do an eight-minute assembly, the principal every Friday and it will only go to families, they can't share it, they can't save it, so it keeps it all within the school community, which is what we're missing right now. That school community, that connection, relationships, Castoja will do that for you on the school stories. And the fifth brilliant thing they do, and they have been doing, is portfolios. 
a child can, you can assign them a portfolio, you can assign them work, they can upload to the portfolio. And really importantly, because I suppose people are wondering how are we gonna assess our children's work? At the minute, I'm not sure if it's possible to assess 30 children's work individually, okay? Probably what we're going to do is we're using this portfolio tool. So if a child sends you an essay they've written or if they send you a video they've made of a multiplication sum, you can like that. Just simply like it. That's feedback that says, well done. Or you can give a short comment underneath, which is very useful too. So the ability for teachers to give feedback instantaneously if they want or at set times during the day is there as an option for teachers. They have videos that give step-by-step basically how are you going to set up remote learning and they have a really really good article on ideas and class dojo for each subject science history art even if you just copied those ideas and shared them with your school community they're really really good active child friendly way and they are suited to primary level they're not necessarily engaging with a screen all the time they're using a blended form of learning class dojo are doing amazing things last thing i'm going to tell you about is they have these um i think it's the the dojo or the mojo that have these inspirational videos that focus on different moral values they're really cute my class love them and that's something that you could assign every week that children could watch this they also have a little pack and um, creative writing and discussion points for the teacher to use from those videos so again it's just super easy like they've done it all for you it's just it's pretty impressive listen I'm gonna leave it there and um, I think you'll agree I'm excited about class dojo I was excited before but now I'm really excited what we can do with it with remote learning I think our children our students, our pupils, our families are going to love it. Um, and I will talk further about all these sorts of tools that we can use. But for now, that is five, possibly six, I think I did, creative ways with Class Dojo that you may not have heard of. Thanks a million for listening to me. This is Ros Lewis, mash.ie. Follow our hashtag, mash lockdown. Go onto our Instagram page. Just say hello. I hope you're well. Stay safe. Take it easy.